To be honest, it was a race I always wanted to ride in from a very early age. And um, I suppose the first time I ever thought about um, really seriously being a jockey, I was interviewed with um, John McCrick in the olden days at Redcar and um, asked what I wanted to do when I was a jo um, grew up and said I wanted to be a jockey. And um, thankfully I made it and ride in the Grand National one day. And um, from then, you know, I left home when I was 15, moved south, ended up at Toby Baldings. And um, I was very fortunate um, when I was about 20, I rode um, Highland Wedding in the Ida Chase, the race he before he won the national and um, won on him there. Uh, they put a proper jockey on him that day, Eddie Harty, and um, I'd got glandular fever, couldn't have ridden him if I'd wanted to, but um, I don't think I would have been asked. But um, he went and won, but at least I was part of the team. You won the Grand National in 1981 and you had your own personal battle in uh, 1979 against cancer. Yeah, of course I did. Um, you know, in 79 um, I got testicular cancer. Um, I was very, very fortunate. Um, if I'd had it 18 months before, there was no cure whatsoever, so I wouldn't have been here. They gave me a 35% with new drugs of recovery. Thankfully, they worked on me and um, got myself fit. 1981, lined up with Aldenity and 10 to 1, second favourite, um, ended up winning the Grand National. And it was also amazing that Aldenity got there because that had been injured in the past as well. Yeah, he was a horse that was always having problems. Um, you know, he'd always breaking down or breaking bones and hadn't run many times in his whole career actually. I think from the age of four until he was 12 years old, he wouldn't have run 20 times. And um, But always kept coming back and winning first time out and um, always running good races. He was third in a Gold Cup was second in a Scottish National, won a Whitbread trial, uh, third in a Hennessy, so he did have an energy. And what was going through your mind going into a winner's enclosure after winning the world's biggest race? Um, it's hard to explain actually because you've got so many things on your mind, you think well I've got so many interviews to do and in those days um, there was racing after, and I had a ride in a race an hour later on a horse called Holmeson, I think, and, um, you know, you had to get yourself psyched up for that, which is very, very hard after you won a national, I promise you. And who's going to win it this year, then? As um, long as the ground doesn't get too soft, I'm going to go for last year's winner, Bally Briggs. Um, he's gone up a little few pounds in the weight, but um, everything around him has gone up. We know he jumps, um, stays. Um, also... I always feel he's got to be a fresh horse that wins a national. Only had the one race this year. Uh, jumped the last in front and just blew up at Kelso. And um, the McCains know what's needed for a national winner. They have won it quite a few times, father and son, through the years. And, um, you know, hopefully for me, he'll win again. Now, it's a very special day of the Grand National for the bookmakers. We're packed. People who just come out for the once a year bet come out. But what makes the national so special? Um... I suppose, as you say, it's a one-off race um, every year. Um, there's only one race over four and a half miles over national fences. Um, that's the key to it. And, um, you know, through the years, national's been going from about 1837 or somewhere back there. And, um, you know, brings in the crowds. John Smith's done a terrific job um, bringing it back to where it should be in the world. And... Um, Everybody enjoys it, let's be honest, the little housewife in the street all have a bet in the Grand National, people at work have um, raffles, everything, the Grand National, so sweepstakes, um, you know, basically I should think 95% of the country know the Grand National's on. And that's what makes it such a special race. Well, of course it does, and um, hopefully for the next hundred years or more, it's still going to be just as popular.